Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you four ways to brand your Restream Studio live broadcast with Canva. So let's go. Here we are in Canva, and we're going to go to Create a Design, Presentation, and I'm going to go to my folders where I have my images and pieces saved. I'm going to start off with my Secret Weapon graphic and scale it to fill the screen and let me lock it. So the first way that you can brand your live streams is to use a watermark or logo bug. This is your graphic and or text that's always on the screen. The placement of it is up to you, but I have a couple of caveats for it. You wanna make sure you do a black version and a white version along with your brand colors. And I'll tell you why in a couple of seconds. Also, you want to make sure that you use something bold and easy to read if you're going to use a font. So I would use a sans serif font because this is just a logo bug that should be easy to read on your screen. So you want something that's very basic. Here's three icons I have here for Restream and their text. As you see, that's in sans serif. The reason you want to have a black and white version of your logo bug is because if your studio setting is dark, white is the easiest color to contrast on it. If your studio setting is light, black is the easiest color to contrast on it. And it gives you free placement where you can put it wherever you want it because you have those two starkly contrasting colors to use. This may confine me to places I can use it. Now in this setting, the orange does kind of stand out even on the light side, but it looks better and more prominent on the dark side. And as you can see, I am using my secret weapon graphic, which lets me know how it's going to look in my video. So that's it as far as your logo bug or watermark. It is an easy way to brand yourself throughout your video. The second way to brand yourself is with the logo reveal or logo intro. This is something that's short and sweet. I will make it no more than five seconds and I'm going to show you how to build one of these. So let's go to our videos palette. The pro videos will show you easily because it has the word pro on it. And I'm going to scale this video to fill my slide. Now, as you can see, when I click the video in this upper left area right here, this video is 15 seconds long. So if I just click on the scissors here, and make it five seconds, my clip is now ready to go. Now what I wanna do is add my logo to it. I'm gonna go back to my folders here, go to my Restream folder, and let's add our icon. And for this, I'm gonna add my logo text. And let's size this. Quick, easy, simple. My logo text is okay, but there's not a lot of contrast between it and the video. So what I want to do is add a little separation here. So I'm going to click on it and go to my effects option. I'm going to click glow, then click it a second time to edit. Then I'm going to kick up my blur, my transparency, and the size. Hit apply. And now what I would like to do is add that also to my icon. So I'm going to go back to effects shadows, glow, click it a second time to edit it, kick up the blur, the transparency, and the size, and apply. And as you see now, the contrast is a lot better. All right, so that is a simple way to do a logo reveal. For a little extra, let's click off of everything off that slide. I'm going to go to animate, and let's add rise to it. Ready to go. The third option to add branding to your videos is with a lower third or call to action graphic, as I call it. So let me click on my secret weapon graphic again, scale it up to fill, and let's lock that on. Let's use the black icon. And I want it to kind of stand off from the background because it is black, but I want it to stand off a little bit more. So I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to use the shadow effect one more time. Go back to glow. Click it to edit. But what I'm going to do this time is make the blur zero. 
So now it's more like a line. Click up the transparency to 100. Let's change the color to white. That's good for that. So now we have our icon with a stroke around it. So let's build the bars for our text. So what I would like to do here now is I'm going to add the orange logo. So now I'm going to go to elements, basic square, and let's make the bars to put our text in. Make this about a hundred. And I'm going to click here for color. And because we use that logo, it's an option now. And now I'm going to add my second bar, copy paste, put the second bar behind it and a little shorter. And we'll make that one white and we'll position it backwards. Let's add a little curve to the end of our bars. So we're going to add a circle here and just line it up and drag it down until it snaps for alignment. Then we'll push it out here to the end. And let's do that again for the bottom bar. And we'll make it white and push it to the back. So now all we have to do is add our text to it and we are done. So we'll go to the text here. And we'll just copy that and paste it. Now you can use this now as a Canva template and just go in and change your text each time. The font stay the same, the colors stay the same. So that is the third way to add branding to your live streams. Then finally, the fourth option to add branding to your live streams, just like the intro video, you want to have an outro video. So let's go back to our video palette. I believe this is the graphic here, the video here. Scale it to fill the screen. And now this is 14 seconds. So it's already a pretty good length for a closing video. So all I'm going to do now is go back to my folders, add my icon again. Let's make it a little bit larger. But the purpose of this is to have a call to action for your viewers to take. So with this one, I'm going to add a tagline and web address. So first I'm going to go back here to text, add a heading. And let's add a web address. So as I said, this is kind of your last effort to have your audience do something. And we have kind of the same issue we had before, right? With some contrasting issues between our text and our background. So we're going to click on the text, go to effects, and we have the lift option. We're going to kick up the intensity to a hundred and let's go to restream effects, lift, kick it up to a hundred again. Now the logo is going to have a different effect. So we're going to go over here to the effects again. Shadows glow, kick up the blur, transparency, and the size. Okay, so that is the fourth way you can brand your live streams. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.